Hi guys, happy trekking. Just a quick video. Um, I'm doing the South Downs Way tomorrow, and so I just thought I'd broadcast a quick kit inspection of everything that I'll be taking with me. If anyone's thinking of doing a multi-day hike of the South Downs, this is everything I'm gonna be taking laid out on my bed, ready to pack. Um, some stuff might be a failure, some stuff might be a lifesaver. I will report back at the end of the hike. <laughs> But for now, this is what everything I am gonna take. So first of all, we'll start off with my rucksack, which is a Sherpa 65. It's not one of the most popular rucksacks, like the Ospreys, but it's a very comfortable bag. 65 litre. It always does the job for my multiple day hiking, so that will be fine and it's very comfortable. So obviously, we've got my map. We've got a battery charger. I've also got another one, which does three charges. This one does one charge. So in total, I've got four charges for my mobile phone, and hopefully I'll stop off on the way to charge it up in maybe some pubs or something. I've got a knife. I've got my sunglasses. I've got a, uh, a tick remover, something Haze Outdoors. The YouTuber Haze Outdoors said to get one of these because once they get stuck in your skin, they, I think they can be deadly. So I've got one of those just in case. I've got a knee support or ankle support for injuries. I've got a head torch, a lighter. I've got a couple of um, fire starter things, just in case, really, of an, if an emergency and it gets really cold or something, I'm up on the hills, I can start maybe a fire. This is something else that Hayes Outdoors, Hayes Outdoors is a, is a famous YouTuber, 100,000 subscribers. This is something he wipes his tent with uh, when it gets condensation in the morning. It's just a, like a, a washing up cloth, but it, uh, you can just squeeze it out and uh, it dries quite quickly so in the mornings I can just wipe my tent clear of condensation and pack it away so that it doesn't wet anything else so I took his advice on that one I've got my waterproofs obviously for obvious reasons I've got a helium pillow uh, I bought myself a new sleeping sleeping mat because my other one was massive in fact I'm going to show you my other one because if you're doing multi-day hiking you don't want to be uh, putting too much in your bags so this was the size of my cheap one, which is about 20 quid. And as you can see, this is the size of the other of, of my new one, which was about 39 quid. They probably do the same job, but this one's a lot lighter and it's a lot compact. A lot more compact. So this one is gonna be getting put into the storage cupboard. Maybe I can give that away to someone. But this one will do the job. I've got my Big Agnes tent, now this cost me 460 quid. It's a very good tent, I'm six foot two. I needed a big tent. I'll give more review on this during my hike, but um, for now, all I will say is it's a, it's a really, really good tent that's worth the money. So I'm very happy with this. The Big Agnes Copper Spur Ultralight SD or something it's called. I've got a, uh, a goose down sleeping bag. This was from Amazon. It was a hundred quid and it is so comfortable and so compact and lightweight. So that is, that's a brilliant buy. This is a goose down overall jacket, windproof jacket, very warm. And it can also be used as an extra pillow at night. Peter Storm was about 50 quid. That's really good. And I'll show you that later as well. Travel towel for shower or, or wild swim, whatever we're doing. I've got my cup kit, I've got gas. I've got uh, a washing up sponge in there as well. I've got a, a, a light for my tent. I don't know if I'm going to take that. It's, it's an optional extra. I've got a warm hat. I've got a snood. That can come in handy from, from midges. I can put it over my face if there's loads of midges where I'm camping. Uh, it also blocks the sun or it can be, if it's cold, that can warm your face and your neck. I've also got a sun hat. It's not the most uh, fashionable thing, as Gary Charters would laugh at me for wearing this again, as I look, <laughs> wore it once on Helvellyn and he yeah, took the mick. But this one will keep the sun off me if it does get too hot. I've got three emergency summit food to eat, which are dried, they were dry pack food, uh, what Mark Potter calls them, a, a posh pot noodle. So they will come in handy if I can't get to a village with any, with any restaurants or anything. You know, any, any shops, these will come in if I'm up on the hills and I'm hungry, or I can even have that for lunch. I've got a couple of dry bags to keep um, to keep my clothes dry, which are some night clothes, some thermal um, cotton, what are they called, uh, merino wool. These are really warm for night time, and I can even put them on in the day if it gets really cold. This is a very lightweight t-shirt, um, 
synthetic reb that can just get thrown in the bag. I've got a spare t-shirt there and just in case this I'll get a lot of sweat on that maybe. Got some uh, some dry socks for the night time. It's important to keep your dry socks uh, you know separate from the socks you're wearing during the day for, for feet hygiene. I've got some gloves, I've got a hat. I've got my MND t-shirt, I'm obviously doing it for MND charity, so I've got a couple of these that I'm going to also not wear uh, to let everybody know what I'm doing. And I've got a couple of uh, posters there that I'll probably leave out or give to people along the route once I get talking. That's basically what's going to go in my bag. Um, my, my boots of choice are Solomon's mid, mid height, so they're pretty comfortable. And they're pretty good boots, about 120 quid, they're quite expensive, but they, they, they don't fail, they don't fail the job. A couple of wristbands for motor new ones. And other things I'm just taking as well. Bag of oats, it's all food related now, so bag of oats, uh, 500 grams. It's quite weighty, but you know, that will probably do me a few breakfasts if, if I'm up there and I can't get to a shop, because it's also bank holiday weekend now that the, uh, the Queen's funeral is taking place. Um, so I don't know if there's going to be many shops that are going to be shut over the weekend So I'm going to take some oats in an emergency that I can always just put some water with them and leave to soak I've got some walnut, walnuts as well that I'll probably put in my breakfast with some with some raisins, a nice bag of raisins I've also got some coffee for the morning that I'll put on a brew Probably get up at 5 in the morning so I'll probably need that uh, I'm going to take two bottles of water with me because they're quite weighty and they're, they're 1.5 litres. They do add a lot of weight to my bag. I might just need one. I think there's a lot of taps along the South Downs Way, like outside water taps. So I might just ditch one, but I'm going to start off with two because especially when you're wild camping, I always like to have two bottles because I'll be cooking in water as well and maybe brewing a coffee. So I like to have two bottles. And then one thing my mate Ed told me about get some hard sweets because when your morale starts dropping and it certainly will at some point a mint humbug might just save the day so there you go there's my kit I'll report back after and let you know if anything failed me or if I missed anything out that I should have packed but I can't think of anything I think we're good to go so there's a, just a quick review any questions please leave a comment below if anyone wants to do the south downs or is thinking of starting up any multi-day hiking then i hope i've been of help from the happy trekking youtube channel harry bassant over and out see you in the morning